Hello, my math friends. Today we are going to cover the basic arithmetic in uh, MATLAB, which stands for Matrix Laboratory. I know that's a, it's a weird name, but um, and but MATLAB is essentially a high-level uh, language that is very powerful in um, numerical calculations, visualizations, uh, and programming. Um, so today we're pretty much going to cover the basic operations in MATLAB. So to begin, I'm going to assume that you all have already downloaded MATLAB and um, installed it correctly and uh, have set it up already. Um, so we're going to jump right into MATLAB and we're going to start with the basic addition. We're going to begin in the command window right here. And uh, this is the command window over here is the workspace. And um, maybe I'll do another video of, uh, I guess, giving you guys, um, showing you guys what all these are. Um, but for now, we're going to focus our attention to the command window right here. So we can actually start with, I, um, we're going to start with printing uh, um, our first code before moving into uh, the basic operations just to, just to see what MATLAB looks like when we're printing something. So we're going to print our first code, uh, the hello world. Um, that's an infamous line. Um, so in MATLAB, when you want to print hello world, we usually do or we usually use the uh, display function, right? So it is DISP and then uh, parentheses and then put your quotation marks and then you type hello world, right? And then this is what it looks like. And then you just hit enter and then it prints hello world. So knowing that we can now actually start uh, some basic operations. So let's first take a look at addition. And for addition, there's not really a fancy way of doing addition. You just basically type the plus symbol, right? So we can do two plus uh, two, and that just gives you four, right? Um, you can do, I don't know, some more tougher calculations. I don't know, three, three, 350, 349 plus uh, 78, you know? So you can use it as a simple calculator or a more advanced calculator when we will move on to more tougher complex topics so that's pretty much what addition is that's really easy um and the same goes for a subtraction we can just do uh five minus uh, two right gives you three um you can do uh i don't know four minus one right simple and you can do um eight minus nine gives you a negative number right negative one and if you ever want to uh w when you have this like an answer right here if you ever want to use this answer to do something with it like adding or subtracting this number you can just type ans uh, which stands for answers so you can do an ans plus uh, i don't know nine that should be eight right so that is a simple way of adding and subtracting um and next is uh, multiplication. For multiplication, you just type the um, shift and eight key. Uh, that's how you do multiplication. So you can just do uh, 10 and then shift eight times. That gives you the asterisk. Uh, so 10 times seven or 70, right? And uh, for division, uh, we just use the slash symbol, the shift, and then that um, question marks and then that slash below it. Uh, you just use that for division, so you can do 3 divided by 4, and that gives you a decimal form of 0.75. Um, we can do uh, just basic 4 divided by 2, that gives you 2. And uh, one thing to note is that you can't, you can't divide a number by uh, 0, um, and I'm not going to explain the, the reason behind it, um, that, that can be in like a separate video. but. Uh, so if we were to type a number divided by zero, we would get, I don't know, five divided by zero, we would get, they, so MATLAB uh, put, um, gave you uh, this INF, which stands for infinity. Um, I, I believe that's there because of, um, it, has to, some, it has something to do with finding uh, the limit for uh, A over B would be approaching zero and it's more of a i guess more of a calculus reasoning but i'm not exactly sure but uh, you just know that it's not a number next uh, we're going to talk about exponentiation um pretty much raising a number to, to a power 
So for this one, we can we're gonna use uh, we're gonna type the carrot key, uh, and no, it's not carrot key, it's carrot key. <laughs> uh, so that's pretty much shift, and then the, the six key, right? So we're gonna say let's do uh, four square, right, or four to the power of two. So we're gonna type four, and then shift six. You got that little that carrot key right here, and then two. That gives you sixteen. Um, and just so with these basic operations, you can do some more fun things. Uh, we can uh, test see. We, we we can see if um, MATLAB can do pam, basic pandas. Um, obviously, it can. Uh, so we're gonna try. Let's say four plus. I don't know. Four plus four, and then times. And then in parentheses, we're gonna do five to the power of six, right? Uh, minus, uh, I don't know, eight, and let's see what that gives us. Oh, and that gives us <laughs> a big number, 62,500. Um, and you can test if that's uh, correct, according to PAMDAS. And uh, one thing also I would like to tell you, in case if you ever want to like clear this command window, um, just to have a, a, a fresh um, a restart, I guess. Um, you can just type CLC and that clears the, the command window. So the next thing, I don't know if this is part of this um, the arithmetic chapter, but I want to mention uh, another operate, operator um, called mod or modulus that pretty much returns the remainder after division. So for example, uh, let's say, um, 10 divided by 3 right so you get a remainder of 1 1 that is the, the 1 is the uh, modulus right so for example so I have 5 divided by 3 let's say 5 divided by 3 that's this uh, decimal right here 1.6 repeating um, so I, I want to know what the modulus of this I type we're going to use the mod function mod and then parentheses and then type uh, so right here this a is going to be the numerator value which is 5 and then comma and then this m is going to be the denominator right which is the 3 and so if I press enter you get 2 so that's pretty much all for this chapter on arithmetic um, this is a pretty easy, uh, straightforward uh, topic in MATLAB. And so the next um, video is going to be on uh, algebra. So we're going to learn how to do algebra in MATLAB, which should be really fun. Um, I know this one's pretty short and uh, pretty easy, but algebra is going to be a much more fun topic to do. And then after that, I'm hoping to do uh, variables, assigning variables, how to do all that stuff. And um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if this makes sense and, uh, and I'll see you next time.